Okay, so it is. Hey guys, uh, welcome to our new apartment. It's coming. So, uh, we moved about a week ago and we thought we would show you guys our new place. Do you want to show them? So, this is kind of like the entrance, and here on the left there's a wardrobe. I don't know if the door opens all the way. Oh, perfect. Well, kind of. So, yeah, where we just have like we're storing the vacuum cleaner and like jackets, scarves, things like that, bags. And that fancy system that we don't know how to use it. Yeah, at least. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it's for, for the door downstairs to like talk to people, open the door, and yeah, change the light, the luminosity, volume. I guess we'll figure it out and we'll let you guys know. And the first thing that you can see when you enter is the shoe rack. I will try to also tell you, especially for the things that we got new, where they are from. This one is from Fister, and it's basically two shoe racks. I will link them for you, but just so you know, we basically bought two, that's why they are this high. Should we go in this direction first? So the first thing on the left is the storage room. Which we are very, very happy with because you know everyone has so many things to store. And uh, these shelves, we bought them from Risk, Josk, whatever, it's like a Nordic uh, retailer store, kind of like Ikea. And these boxes, we got them from Ikea, they are plastic, transparent with a lid, which are perfect for storing all sorts of spare cables and other things that we have. And yeah, this is basically the room where we put all the things that... Uh, we don't want to keep in the main part of the apartment, but also not in the basement because we need them every now and then. Okay, so the next thing after the storage room here on the left is the guest bathroom. Um, you can go in, basically there are a couple of new things here. The carpet we already had, but it's IKEA. Uh, the trash bin is uh, the trash bin and the toilet brush are from Livik, right? Yeah. And then this like holder for for toothbrushes and the soap dispenser are also from Risk uh, Yosk, however you you want to pronounce it. And yeah, there's a little mirror here, and that's pretty much it. It's a small small bathroom, but very functional and used to be, especially when you have people over. We're already getting maybe uh, sneak peeks at the bathroom, but I would say first let's start with the big bathroom. So, I will let you come in. This is the bathroom. Maybe here can show you kind of how it looks like and that walks you through everything that you see here as new especially compared to the other bathroom so the carpets are actually new here uh, they are also from Ikea I already talked about like soap dispensers and trash bins this shelf is from Conforama the bathroom shelves and these organizing boxes are from Amazon which are perfect they fit just perfectly as like three of them in a row on, on our shelf. And also the washing machine and the dryer, we bought them on brack.ch. Uh, they are Beko, we are going to link them for you. They are, I think, originally like 2,000 francs, but Hur and his friend found a great offer for like 1,200. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I think that's pretty much it in the bathroom. And then this is the master bedroom. We got a 180 bed from Koforama, which has lights as well, which are very helpful in the night, so we don't need to buy like extra night scent lamps. Um, a couple of other things that are new, the mattress is from Fister, we are going to link it as well, and the topper is from Koforama, right? The topper is from Koforama, and yeah, we are in the process of adjusting to a 180 bed because we used to have a 141 so we bought some protection for the mattress and fitted sheets from Turkey and we are in the process of finding a bigger blanket and bigger bed sheets as well that's pretty much it about the bed right yeah. 
And then this is the wardrobe. It's a three door sliding door wardrobe. And I wanna show you a couple of things. Um, the first thing is most of the wardrobe has, so we have space at the top where, where, which we use, for example, for bed sheets, towels, things like that, and then the bottom as well. We hang all the clothes on velvet hangers that I'm gonna link for you on Amazon. And if you come a little bit closer, I can show you. We also bought, not enough, so we ordered some more, but we bought like these connectors, these hanger connectors, which helps you basically hang several pieces of clothing. Um, yeah, like, kind of like in the same line so they don't occupy as much space in the wardrobe so that you can fit a lot more. But as you can see, we didn't have enough connectors and also not enough hangers, so we're in the process of fixing that. And I mean, I'm not gonna show you our underwear, but just so you know, there are these type of boxes at Amazon that you can buy with different uh, arrangements. So they're like with small pockets for socks or with bigger pockets for like underwear, um, or bras or whatever you want to put so we are using this to um, to separate our underwear and then here we ordered but it hasn't arrived yet we ordered the laundry bin with like uh, four different containers for different types of laundry like depending on color or the temperature at which you wash them I'm gonna link it for you because we already ordered it and we'll let you know how it is maybe in another video uh, you want to talk about the problem with the oh, wardrobe? Yeah. Because you will see some boxes later on. So we ordered this wardrobe and theoretically those railings that are at the top and at the bottom, they were supposed to be one piece. And since they are two pieces, they are kind of disconnected. Uh, did I mention that the wardrobe is from Frister? If not, it's from Frister. And basically what happened is we went back and they told us that they changed the model of the wardrobe and now it comes, the railings come into pieces, but they sent us the wrong manual and the not wrong the pieces, yeah. right? So in the new model, there are some extra pieces that help you connect the railings, which we never got. Um, so the bottom line is now that they will send us the extra pieces and we are in the process of making sure that they actually come and mount it as well because these doors are super heavy and you have to remove the doors and I think the railings as well, right? Yeah. To actually fix it. So, yeah. Hopefully that will get fixed. I will let you know as well in a future door maybe. Because, yeah, you can see it has like a kick to it and sometimes you can also, it literally gets blocked there. The, lo the doors literally get blocked there. Um, another thing that we love in this apartment is the automatic blind. You just press down, you like close them, or if you press up, you can open them, which is nice because I think we never showed you guys our previous apartment, but basically it was on the first floor, you will see the best part of the apartment is the view, we didn't have a view, we had one roomless and it was relatively old, like a super old system to open, do to open windows and the windows themselves were very old and it had like a manual uh, way of opening blinds, right? A manual system to open blinds. So yeah, this is great. Anything else about the bedroom? No. Okay, then let's move on to the study room. Uh, the study room is probably the room in which we have nothing new and there's not much happening, but it's basically like uh, not even a study room, it's like a desk slash guest room. So this couch, we had it before, but I can link it for you. It's from Koforama and it becomes a bed. It's from Ikea. <laughs> from Ikea, sorry, sorry. From Ikea and it becomes a bed. Uh, this shelf is also from Ikea. The table is also from Ikea and also those chairs. You will see we have six of them. There's one in the bedroom and four of them in the kitchen. Uh, that's pretty much it. If you see anything else and you're wondering where it's coming from, just let us know and we will answer it down in the comments. Okay, so I would say we do the kitchen first and then the best part, the two best parts of the apartment. So this is the kitchen. It has like a big fridge and a freezer. Here you have the dishwasher and there the oven. 
I will show you a couple of things that we bought as new because those are things that you might be able to find in stores. One of them is these plates that we actually got them as a gift, but they are from Conforama. They come in eight and there's also a small plate and a deep plate as well. Um, the second thing that we got new are these spatulas. We got them on Zalando Lounge. They are from Joseph and Joseph. Joseph and Joseph and they are really, really nice. Highly recommend them. Um, and probably the last thing are these glasses. We got them from Manor. They are kind of like they look mirrored, but like if they look inside, they just have like a shadow. And we got oh, eight of them. They come in packs of four. Uh, so we got two packs. I'm going to link them for you as well. Um, is there anything else that we got new inside the kitchen? And other than that, we also got this shelf from IKEA to store pantry stuff. If you're wondering, these containers are also all from IKEA. We had them before. And this air fryer is from Galaxus. It was also a gift, but we can link it for you maybe if you are interested in getting one. Also the trash bins, I don't know if you can see them. The bags for like paper, glass and plastic, uh, they are also from uh, IKEA. And I might link for you, we ordered a couple of other kitchen things, like a splatter screen, I don't know, a garlic press, a spatula, do you know what else we ordered? Like small bits and pieces for the kitchen that we ordered on Amazon and haven't arrived yet. We will link them for you. And we are also ordering some hooks for towels, both to put here in the kitchen and in the bathroom. And once we decide which ones we order, we're also going to link them for you. Okay. So, should we show them the first best part of the living room? Uh, so, the living room is pretty big. As you can see here on the right side, we just have this shelf, which is the same one as the white one that you saw in the kitchen, just in grey, so it's also IKEA. And these boxes are here because, as I said, we have that problem with the wardrobe and hopefully there will be some people coming soon to fix it and we want to put it on the floor to make sure that we don't scratch uh, on the floor. And then if you look here, the TV stand is also from IKEA, including the structure below. Uh, the TV is not new. Do you remember? Did we get it from your discount? I think so, yeah. If they still have it, I'm going to leave it for you. If you want to see it, it's 136 centimeters? 65, 65 inches. 65, 65 inches. Yeah. Okay. These um, coffee tables, they're very nice. They were also a gift, I think, from Amazon. Uh, but they were a gift. And this couch is from uh, Conforama and it also becomes a bed. That's pretty much all we have in the living room. Do you want to show them Atiba? This is our best friend, best purchase, two years old. Um, yeah, one of the best purchases of that year. It's a vacuum cleaner and mop in one and it's amazing. And already in the living room, without even looking at the balcony, you have like a great view. Today is not the most clear view because there's some uh, clouds, but you can see uh, like a beautiful panorama of the little town that we, that we live in, the lake, and then on the other side, those are the French Alps that we will show you even better from the balcony. Yeah, the light is not great. So. Yeah, that's okay. We will make, I will insert some pictures of the view because we took pictures uh, from the balcony. So let's move on to the best part of the apartment, which is our very big balcony. Before sure shows you the view, I hope you can still hear us. Should I bring the windscreen? Yeah, bring it. <coughs> so before we show you the view, this is the furniture, the balcony for furniture that we bought. It is from basically Migro, the Migro Do It Garden. No, it's Mikasa, right? No, yeah. Migro Do It Garden. Do It Garden. Do It yes. Garden. So it's like the, I don't know, outdoorsy, gardeny uh, branch of Migro. Uh, and yeah, it has this L shape. This one also becomes a table, so there's a glass so you can easily eat on it and like easily clean it. 
and if you want, it's kind of a modular structure. So we thought that the L is good enough for the size of our balcony, but if you want something bigger, you can make it U shape. Also, this one was on 50 person set. <laughs> yeah, we also got it, so it's normally around a thousand francs, so a thousand and a little bit, and we actually got it for 500. So this set was on sale, but just FYI, you can get basically another piece of those and put it here and it becomes a U-shaped um, furniture, balcony furniture. And then, yeah, I think here can show you show you the view. Basically, on that side, it's the car. And then you have Wait, the... Let me zoom in. Yeah. Can you see the train tracks? Yeah. Yeah, so that is the car. Then you have a beautiful view over Morsch. Then that is Lake Lemon or Lake Geneva, however you want to call it. And on the other side is the French Alps. Right there, I don't know if you can show them with your finger where Mont Blanc is on the video. And I will send you, we will insert pictures of how it looks like on a clear day. Over there. But you can't see anything right now. Yeah, and on the other side is basically the other end of the lake, kind of the Valais Valley, but it's very far away, so you can probably not. So that's it for the moment. I hope you enjoyed this apartment tour. As I said, we will link everything down below, both what we bought new and what we had before. Uh, but if you have any questions about any anything that you see, please let us know and we will let you know where, where they came from. Uh, and yeah, uh, we are really happy. We love the apartment, we love the place and we hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave us a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and yeah, we will see you guys with a new video very soon. Bye! Oh, yeah.